it's giving bolognese. Welcome back to yet another video. If it's your first time joining me, hi, my name is Coco. Thank you for stopping on my videos. I really hope that you guys are here to stay. So please do go ahead and subscribe and do not forget to go follow me on Instagram. I am Likom Diego and please do follow me on TikTok and Pinterest. I am Coco Diego on both platforms. I've left everything in the description box. So please go follow the links that I've left for you. And if you want to enjoy more of my other videos, please do check out the description box and yeah so as you guys can see from the title down below i am going to be showing you guys my winter foundation routine i have changed my routine from time to time and i'm here to show you guys my winter foundation routine i have a very new foundation that i want to show you and so if you want to hear what i have to say about the foundation and everything else please do keep on watching and do not forget to like comment and share so without wasting any more of your time let's head straight to the video we we'll start off with our primer and the primer that we are going for i need to buy myself new primers actually because i've been using these for the longest time so we're going to go in with our hydrating and perfecting primer from essence and it has spf 20 and yeah so we're just going to shake it because they pay little guys and i'm not sure about it so i'm not going to put too much of it because it pay little so you know there's nothing to put up but we just have to make sure that we are priming. I think this is enough. Because I need. Okay. The reason why I don't use it a lot, it has this thing of looking like a sunscreen. May I get? It has this thing of looking like a sunscreen, and I don't like that because Ngoko it has that white residue that it has. But it's a matter of you know making sure that you moisturize well, and yeah. So if you have any other primer that you know that's affordable, not baby skin, because I have used that one and I love it. I am gonna buy myself that one. But any other primer that you know that you know works hydrates and just gives you that look so now after that i'm going to go do my eyebrows off camera and then come back and continue with the face okay so i've started the process of doing my eyebrows and now we're going to move on to our foundation now for our foundation i'm going to use something new i have used this you know for a few minutes and then that day I didn't I just took pictures but now we're gonna use it on camera so this is the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation I love me some liquid foundation um because it it's usually full coverage and you know in winter you want to have that very nice full coverage look that you you know that we love as always especially for someone that has dark marks and all of that on their face and i'm the sh i'm in the shade caramel beige and yeah i think this retailed for 170 so we're gonna do that and we're just going to put a few drops before we can you know do intense things so like that and so use this um, flat top brush and then I'm gonna just close everything in with my beauty blender okay so we're gonna start like this just dab and make sure okay I am not sure I don't know about you guys but you know, Gule process here, I'm trying to learn how to do my makeup nicely and all of that. I've learned that, you know, you must not put foundation under your eyes. So as you guys can see, I am just doing around the eye and not, you know, under the eyes. So you can just, you know, do just some tiny strokes. 
Okay guys, I hope I don't look like a ghost because this lighting just makes me feel like I look like a ghost. Anyways, yeah, so we're going to reach for our concealers. First concealer that we're going to be using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn. And then we're going to go in with our Essence Camouflage. And then, as you guys can see, we haven't done our areas. So we're going to focus on that and then we're going to use a beauty blender to blend everything out. So I need to see if, okay, yeah, so we're going to start here. Yeah, so I know guys, we stopped, you know, doing this with our concealer. At least some people did, but. But yeah, we do. I have my days, I have my days. Sometimes I do it the way that others do it, but then sometimes I just feel well, <sighs> stop it. It doesn't matter really. It actually does it. Maybe. Okay. Then down here. Can you notice well a concealer has a bit of and then why the Kumama is very wrong for me And then the forehead. And then the chin area. So we're gonna get into it. And then we're gonna go in with this one. Now this is going to help with my under like the under eyebrows. Like here. Because this one is lighter and then down here and then we're gonna use it for our eyebrows okay guys I tried to change the lighting but it's not it's also still not giving it's giving ghostly Now we're gonna do a very we're gonna do a creamy nose contour it's been a while since i've done that so we're gonna go for our quad from fushimi and then we're gonna use you know this dark shade here mix it with the bit lighter one and then powder guys you know even if i have dry skin i love love i love using powder so just gonna put a bit i'm not gonna put too much so we're gonna take our fluffy powder brush and then we're just gonna place this here not too much, but enough. Even the lids we do. And then like so. Okay, guys, so now we're going to contour now that we've powdered our face. We're going to go in. Oh, I look weird. Especially like this one. Should we use some foundation? Like. Oh, yeah, anyways, we're going to move in. We're going to use the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder, and it is in the shade True Mahogany. And we're just going to contour this part. This 
this lighting is playing with me honestly it's playing with me i look hideous Now I'm going to go do my uh, lip line. I hate this white line thing. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go do our eyeshadow for our Instagram, and then I'm gonna come back and close off the video because this is basically it for our base routine. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of our video. This is the finished makeup look that I decided to go for. I love the eye. I didn't change the blue that I was using because I just felt with the lashes it just looked, you know. And I used a cream lip cream. Sorry, a glossy lip cream. The tinted one from Revlon in the shade Belly Blush. This is the gloss that I used on top of the lip colors that i used and and then went in with my fixing spray from rimmel london it's a matting prying spray fix and go insta fix and go twin one primer and setting spray i really really love this especially if i want to give myself that mattifying look or that matte look so yeah guys winter time i prefer a more full coverage that's why i went for the liquid foundation yeah i really really love it and to be honest with you i'm not going to ever part with it i'm going to buy another one i'm, I'm going to buy another one so that i can have two and i really really love it and i have so many other foundations that i want to try but for my liquid foundations i am going to actually go for that one and yes guys so if you are looking for a mattifying and a full coverage foundation then i suggest you go for that one i really really love it and you guys can see i didn't put too much because but i didn't want to put too much but as you guys can see it really did give me a full coverage i don't know the lighting of this room is just giving me ghosty it's giving ghosty it's giving ghosty i don't know if i like it or not i don't like it actually it's giving ghosty but anyways yeah so i need to find my perfect I need to, I actually think I need to find a darker shade to mix it with that so that it can match with my neck. It's giving polo neck. <laughs> yeah, it does give it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you really did enjoy this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Do not forget to go follow me on Instagram for more makeup content. I am Likom Gego and please do follow me on TikTok and Pinterest. I am Kokom Gego on that platform. That's where I give you fitness and self-care content. So please do go follow if you haven't. And everything is in the description box. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to catch you on my next video. Bye.